Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Liu Bei campaign. This is episode 8. We pick it up from turn 67 in the spring season of 196. So, uh, we left off last episode with a big question of what to do with Liu Bu. And uh, many of you have answered that question, but before we uh, get to that, uh, we're just going to take a quick look at the south, which is something we've been ignoring. So Cao Cao has the coast, Sun Ce is sandwiched in between him and the Han Empire and some small factions, like Cao Song's old faction, Liu Hong's getting encroached on by Cao Cao, uh, Zhou Xin still holds Jian Ye, and then we have Wang Rei, which is pretty weak. Over here, in black, is Gong Du, and Gong Du is doing super well. He's the yellow turban force that's remaining on the map, he's the last of them. Uh, Liu Bao is not doing so hot, and uh, Yuan Shu is doing decently well. And Liu Chong is pretty strong as well. So, if we... And Dong Zhuo has the capital, but he's... I think he's pretty much done. Um, I think he's at war with Han Sui. And we are kind of encroaching on his land using rebels. So we're going to probably swallow up both of these and start... Continue to swallow up. We might be entering into a war with Zheng Jiang soon. Our goal is to wipe out everything here. We want to take all of Dong Zhuo's territories. Um, we probably will get into a war with Han Sui eventually too. And Bian Zhang, um, I mean, this land area is not really worth too much. But um, we'll try to get the north under control. And then we'll probably expand west or south. Depends on how things go. Can't predict that far. But it seems like the main enemy are down south. And the good news is, unlike the base game in the 190 start, it's not just the kingdom of Wu. Uh, we actually have a pretty messy situation down south. So I'm pretty glad about that. Um, our current situation, let's talk about ourselves. We only have one real army on the map. And even this real army is not really a real army. Uh, as you can see, the units aren't ideal. And we probably will switch things up uh, as we build up. We do have money to afford uh, new units, even though a lot of this income is uh, trade income. So you can see uh, there's 1.2k trade income, so we have to keep some friends. And we also have uh, 712 coming from Diplomacy, so that will expire you know, within 10 turns, depending on the timing we made the deals. Uh, most of it does come from our commandery, so that's the good news. Uh, we're going to continue to build up. If we can take all of these um, and expand this way, we'll be fine, because all of these are peasantry income. We're going to continue to focus on some early uh, farm peasantry income and clean rebels as we go. And as we expand our border out, we'll start cleaning up the commanderies that's behind uh, by getting rid of their tax buildings and uh, switching them over using assignments to get rid of their fervor. Uh, and we're going to clean them up like this. So we're going to just move the rebels forward uh, as a way to get land. It's a little slow, but it's fine. Uh, my intentions for this campaign is to uh, play it out to a longer period, uh, at least to the year 220. So it's going to be a long campaign. That way we can get a lot of the later uh, Kingdom of Shu characters that most people don't see in the game, like uh, Wei Yan, like Jiang, Jiang Wei. Um, so we're going to try to get um, those characters. And because we're trying to get those Shu characters, I think the final decision here on Li Bu is we're not going to take him. Um, it, I think we had a lot of people voicing for both sides, and at the end of the day, he's level 9 already. We had him in both of our last two campaigns. He was heavily featured in our Dongzhuo campaign. He eventually became the leader for that one, and then we used him uh, for a southern army in our Cao Cao campaign where he went down south first uh, to take care of Sun, Sun Ce or Sun Jian, I forgot, but he played a prominent role in our last two campaigns so I think for this one we're going to let him sit out and plus I think there's another concern that someone uh, commented in the last video uh, where since this is the second time he appeared uh, the reason why he appeared twice is because he went off to start his own faction twice uh, he uh, started his own faction around Yinchuan through an event and he was at war with Liu Chong and Yuan Shu got destroyed by them came to us we hired him uh, to see the year you came and see the so you came and see when we hired him. We got his items, we let him go, and then he went and triggered the event again, uh, going back to Intrunt. So I think that's kind of a bug where he can trigger that event twice as long as he's within a certain 
uh, turn timer. And then he got defeated once again, and now he's back to us. So there's a risk that if we re recruit him, even if we give him Chancellor and give him his item back, he could just leave us through that event glitch again. So to prevent that, we're just going to not do it. Uh, we are going to make some modifications to our roster because as we move forward, I want to give this army an uh, actual army too. Uh, we want two uh, armies moving forward because there's multiple targets. So that means we need to leave three generals here to farm rebels. Uh, not these three. These three will follow our ranged army. And what we're going to do here is we're going to send him out. Uh, he's one of these generals that I want to, uh, you know, nurture. He has decent traits uh, for a general that's on the battlefield as well as capable of being an administrator down the line if we really need to. He has reach already. He has uh, flexibility for replenishment, so he'd be a great uh, leader. And other than him, we recruited him last turn, but we recruited him just for his items. So what we're going to do is we're just going to strip him of his gear, and then we're going to say goodbye to him. Just because he's kind of um, high level already, it's going to be hard for us to keep him happy. And also, he has uh, solita uh, Solitary, which is going to lower satisfaction in the army that he's in. So that's also not great. And his skill is not well placed at level 4. It's going to take forever for us to get reach on him. Um, or a useful uh, skill like Flame of the Phoenix. So we're just going to get rid of him. But there are other generals in the pool that we can grab. Uh, to start this new army. So we're going to release him. Uh, we can't summon uh, Zaldri yet because he's currently on assignment. Uh, we have four assignment slots, so we need to have four generals uh, who are not on the field to do assignments. And I think he's going to come out. He's going to come out. We're going to make him come out because he can give us um, plus 20 from plus 20 satisfaction once the lack of purpose goes away. So he'll go back to 66 and give us unity instead of lose it. Uh, so that's going to be a good thing here. And as a matter of fact, what we're going to do is we're going to summon him first this turn. We're going to get rid of his uh, retinue, of course. This is just going to be a rebel farming group of him, uh, Zhao Zhi. And then we're going to find them a new partner. And the person I had in mind is either Gal Pei, because I'm looking for people who are willing to spy for us, so I can make sure they're not a spy. Um, looking at his skills is pretty good, and he's young. Level 3 is not too bad. The other option is Jiang Gong over here. Uh, also decent skills. Uh, 43 is a little bit older, but he has an item on him, so I think he wins. Uh, just because he has an item. Now the other factor, obviously, is who will get along. Okay, right away we see that he doesn't get along with Zaltru, which is unfortunate. Uh, he does get along with Galpei, but not Jiang Gong. Hmm. It's a little troublesome. Anyways, we are also going to hire maybe her. No, not her, because she has the desire for higher office. Maybe her? Yeah, we could hire her, but she's rank 4. She also has item, just to use her as an assignment character until we find a better one. Um, because we have 4 assignment slots. Um, we can wait a turn before we hire her. And we can also wait a turn to decide on the other general for this party. It doesn't seem like they're going to harmonize well, but that's fine. Alright, so back to the game at hand. Uh, we did capture Anping, which enabled us to trade with Yuan Shao. He doesn't have many trade partners, and we do have an empty slot after we ranked up. So we're definitely going to get this deal through. Would he be interested? No, he's not. Yeah, he's not interested in unifying with us. That's fine. Does he have any items? Nope. Uh, he needs food. But depends on how rich he is, we'll decide whether we want to give him food or not. So here, I'm guessing 1,500 isn't too ridiculous. Okay, he think it's pretty ridiculous. So we'll compare like this. So getting cash up front is better here. We'll do that. 
此举可行。All right, so that maxed out our trade deal. This is a government support, so I think we'll just fix this. Two sixty, or we'll let it burn for a little bit. It can fix itself. Yeah, we're too cheap for two sixty. Um, I'm perfectly happy with yeah keeping the building as is. We get slightly more income from it. We don't need a grain silo, so we're going to demolish this and build a tax collection here. So we're going to run rebels in these two commanderies for now. I keep an army in the middle to cover both. It'd be pretty straightforward. And we can start moving this army up once we get a chance. Um, we're going to move them here, and then we're going to encamp them for more military supplies. Um, Alright, we're good. Um, we will just observe if they take it. I think we can handle that. And we have a reform as well. Let's take care of those two. Um, we can obviously go for a level five tax collection, but we might not. We might not need to. It will also give us plus three public order, which is kind of counterintuitive. Uh, for uh, the fact that we want to spawn rebels in our other two commanderies. Although it might enable us to get higher taxes everywhere. We could probably move our tax back up if we have this. Um, another route is this level 4 end building, which is what we talked about last time we got a reform. And also the level 4 horse pasture, which will give us uh, the pre-battle deployables as well. This is actually pretty tempting. And it will make cavalry recruitment cheaper for Drone Phase Army in the future. Hmm. But this, I think this is better right now. That can wait. All right, let's go. Let's go through our buildings real quick. I can't switch this in building over because I need the faction-wide satisfaction. So this can upgrade. Great. This is still locked by reform. All right, that can upgrade in a turn. All right. Uh, yeah, we're going to just keep the yellow turban version for now. All right. So we did all our personnel. And we did the trade. We did the buildings. We have extra army slots. All right. I think everything's all set up. Let's just continue here. Well, this is super strange. Yellow turban rebellion are willing to sign a peace treaty with us. Uh, no, thank you. All right, Liu Bao signed a peace treaty with Yuan Shao. I wonder if we can actually vassalize him. I mean, I think we have to wait till we are at a higher rank. Yeah, I think we have to be marquis yet. We're not there yet, but he's weak enough. I think we might be able to do it. And also, same thing with Konro. All right, new characters. Brand officer. Bian Zhang. So he's definitely, he has a grudge. He's willing to spy. So he's definitely not a spy himself. So auto recruit. Um, what about him? Ooh, 25. Also, definitely not a spy. With reach. Uh, charge speed. Recruitment cost is high, but it's fine if we leave him as a general. So I think we might get both of them. Let's see if he get along with them. Uh, he doesn't get along with him. That's the one I kind of want to team him up with. Oh, he has a good item. Maybe he's the problem. Now that I think about it. He doesn't get along with anyone. Uh, we're going to grab him. Because that item is definitely good. He's also great as a person himself. And then we can kind of check. All, right, all three of them don't get along. That's That's awkward. That's awkward. All right, this is the awkward team. They are just not taking these towns, not even attacking them. They're just they're just sitting here. What did Dong Zhuo do to deserve this treatment? All right, we can upgrade the inn building. Tax collection over here. That should burn out soon. I think next turn should be fine there. Alright, we don't have a reform for that. Alright, that's fine. 
Yeah, that's really awkward that they're not taking them. Alright, we're gonna get a rebellion here soon. We also need to recruit someone for assignments. Um, hold on. We also need to grab the burn officer. There's no doubt here. And we want someone to do assignments. Probably just her. She has an item on her. We can just have her boost peasantry. Uh, in Anping. And then in the future, she can be used to boost, um, f reduce fervor. So we're gonna have her do this for now. Alright, this army, I still really want to use them, but I don't know if we can actually get a fight in. Just in case, we'll go ambush mode. Alright, who doesn't get along with who? Alright. I'm gonna pull Mi Fang out. Assuming. Alright, let's move him out. And then I'm assuming they can work well with him. No, then he's the problem. Okay. So then he has to. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Wrong army. I'm moving the wrong army. Alright, there goes our... Okay, we still can't ambush. It's these two. It's these two. Okay, so... Merge. Like that. And then he gotta go out. And then we get a happy group. Yeah, happy group. Happy burned officer group. And then we have Angry Burn Officer Group. Alright, they really need they really need military supplies. Cause unit transfer drops military supplies. Alright, this is the angry group. We're gonna keep them here. We're gonna move them here. Eventually we'll have another burn officer corp. We just need to collect two more. So she's actually trying to take control of fervor here and boost public order. Why are we doing that? That's counterintuitive of what we're trying to do. Um, we don't need to lower it here. We can let it grow. We'll have her boost peasantry here instead. Um, Forge Master, wow, great item. Great item. Um, so we're gonna give it to Liu Bei just because the stat boost is really good. And then we're gonna give Liu Bei's traitor to our wife. Uh, she's gonna lose some authority, but I think it's not gonna impact us because 100 and 108 is the same level here. Yep, still plus six. And unfortunately, we haven't got anything great here now we can't we could I think we will drop to 100 exactly here which is still plus six and Liu Bei can actually use a horse that's actually decent uh, it might actually push him to plus 11 yep so that worked out perfectly uh, he doesn't really need a bow as well uh, what we need is to give him uh, there's not really any great items I guess Bo's fine. Doesn't give any plus satisfaction. And he, he's the one who doesn't need satisfaction. Eventually we'll get a better item. Um, let's see. Let's let's go through the people who are actually in our main army group. He is not going to be using that. We're going to give him this. Alright, so... Okay, happy with this setup on him. Zhao Yun's setup is not great. Turtle for the army, which is important. He's not an administrator, so he doesn't need that item. Gorilla deployment on Renu. I think he might actually have Gorilla deployment already. No, he doesn't. Okay, so this is useful. He's He has a full retinue of archers right now. Zhang Liao is holding ambush chance. Kind of useless on him. 
but it's keeping him happy. He's actually difficult to deal with right now. Uh, we're okay with his build. Yeah, this is fine. It's not too bad, I guess. Alright, she's an administrator. She could use this. Alright, and we don't have any other items for him. Alright, he came with a spear. We can let him keep that spear. It's fine. We'll let her... She has one. I'm trying to see who I can push their satisfaction up a little bit more. D does everyone have an item in their Anzuri slot? Wow, we are pretty loaded with Anzuri items, I have to say. So I guess you do get one. You're the only one without one. Oh, you and him. This push you to 75. I think that's worth two points. Faction, faction, faction. It doesn't say. Where is it? I'm blind. Oh, it actually doesn't say. But it should be plus two. Pretty sure it's plus two. Okay. Um, Alright, the administrative stuff is over. Let's continue. And people still want to buy our items. Well, I don't really want to trade items with people. Unless they have better items, too. They don't, so... Nope. Alright, Dong Zhuo demands their vassal to join the war against Gongdu. Sure. And attacking Ma Teng. He's busy over there. Hero's Aid. What Anzari did we get? Oh, Water Clock. What a useless one. Alright, we're getting a rebellion here soon. We're gonna wait here. It's probably gonna trigger away from our army, so we're just gonna wait and see who attacks them. We have military access with them. There is a possibility where... Not a possibility. There is a opportunity for us to just fight that army for them and we can trade for the territory like how much is he how much is he gonna value a small town that's under siege wow don't draw be reasonable it's not really yours the yellow turbans are I doubt he'll give us a farmland uh, but we can check the value of everything here real quick yeah, yeah, too much. He clearly think too much of himself. Alright, then we'll let the Yellow Turbans deal with you. Well, that's a really nice armor. Yeah, we have no one to fight. That's the problem. Mm. And diplomatically speaking, Dongjuas is in alliance, I believe. Yeah, so if we go to war with him, we go to war with Han Empire, Lu Zhi, who we don't want to fight. Uh, Tiao Mao's old faction doesn't really matter. Ying Zhao's old faction doesn't really matter. And Tao Tian's old faction doesn't really matter. Hmm. We could do it. It'll be pretty untrustworthy in, for us because we'll be breaking all sorts of treaties to do it. Wait, who's off duty now? Our, our heir is off duty. She can boost so much. Oh, she can go boost our um, our commit the, the commerce commanderies. Wow, that's so much industry gold. Uh, I think just the thirty percent industry is pretty good for this. And then she can boost the combo or reduce building costs. Probably reduce building costs because we have to build up here. Right. I don't know what to fight. Mm. Get our economy building first. Yeah, we'll just be patient. Yellow turbans. I, I, I hope they will change their mind soon. 
They basically have the whole city destroyed. There's nothing here in both commanderies, but they're not taking it, so that's weird. Let's continue. All right, Dong Zhuo is now fighting Yuan Shao. That should be interesting. And he's fighting back against the yellow turbans. Okay. All right, Koron joins a war against Dong Zhuo. Clay cup, that's a good item um, for our air. Plus six instead of plus two, four. Let's see. Huang Zhong. Guys, five tiger generals incoming. We're missing Ma Chao. How come? How did you leave? Wang Rei dumped you? Well, it doesn't matter. Alright, we're four out of five. Well, that's... That's incredible. Okay, so Huang Zhong has uh, this skill called Swift Finger, which is absolutely nuts. Plus 100% range attack rate. I don't know if you guys understand what that means. That's double DPS. That's just ridiculously strong. He's 64. Mm. But Huang Zhong is basically on a different um, mortality table than the rest of the characters. There, there's basically two types of character. There's a standard character mortality table, and there's long age character mortality table. So for, so what they do in game is that after you reach the age of sixty, every turn you start rolling for a chance to die, and between sixty and seventy, the chances, I th I think like fifteen percent, uh, for most characters for the standard characters. Uh, and then once you reach 70, between 70 and like 75, you roll a different percentage and it just increases. So you're, you're going to die. Basically, you have a higher, higher chance to die. For long age characters, everything's delayed by 5 to 10 years, I believe. So he's going to automatically live longer than them just because he doesn't start rolling uh, his death until later. And then he rolls a smaller amount, so it's more likely to live. So 64 is just probably, we can think of a 54. Um, still old, but he'll live for a while. Uh, I am pretty happy about this campaign if we are getting these. He has a grudge, so he's not a spy. Oh, so great, so great. Um, we can give him this bow and just for story's sake. We'll give him some extra health. And then Liu Bei can equip um, this, I guess, just for stats. All right, what to do with Huang Shao? Well, we also have Zhang Yan's army sailing here. He's friendly. I don't know why he's here, though. Um, Yuan Shao is at war with Dong Zhuo. Maybe they will take each other's land. Who knows? I'm getting impatient. I think I'm actually going to march my army in, take care of the rebels for him, and then wait for a new set of rebels to spawn. Alright, we're still going to get experience on Guan Yu and Zhang Fei first. No items, so just delegate. Should be just one battle. Yep. Too strong. Oh, we got a rare talent too. Oh. New wife? Well, she doesn't have any good traits, but she is younger. She also doesn't have any good traits. Well, skill wise, this is a downgrade just because she's level 1. She's a different. She's she's a very de decent officer, and she has a clean past. We'll keep her. Um, we can marry her to maybe Guan Yu. Actually, it's nice to give our other characters heirs too. Liu Bei already has two kids. Huang Zhong, we probably don't have to think about leaving him a kid. He's sixty-four. I know he's really strong old man, but. Can't ask too much from him. Um, yeah, I think let's marry her and Guan Yu.
Do you guys mind? I hope not. Let's, uh... We can test this relationship out. Yeah, we got, we're, we're, we're taking our brother's marriage seriously. So we're gonna recall John L first for a turn. It also heals him, so it's not entirely meaningless. And we can test to see if their relationship is fine. Wait, where is she? Oh, no. Okay, this is not gonna be a happy marriage. Um... Oh, but Gwen gets along with her. She's one of our pretty good administrator. Maybe we just make her wife. How old is she? Oh, she's already married. That's right, I remember. She's not married, if I remember correctly. Okay, we'll get Zhang Lao back into this army later. Alright. Uh, what are we trying to do? We're trying to get Guan Yu married. That's right. Hello, Guan Yu. There we go. Man Zheng Ying. Husband and wife. Okay, so... The important thing is done. Ah, oh, they don't get along. He doesn't get along with anyone. Super annoying. Well, I guess he get along with these people, but that's not who I care about. He gets along with her. Hmm. Anyways. Alright, we finished building level 4. So we probably just want to go this way. Right. Do we want to convert? We probably do, because it unlocks a reform. We want to go this route. Yeah, and we like our building better too, so that's fine. Hmm. Maybe, maybe what we need to do is send, send one over. Oh, he he gets along. He gets along with him. He found a friend. Uh, we'll transfer. They still hate each other, but they get along. And then Huang Zhong doesn't get along with them. Huang Zhong gets along with them. We also need to look at Zhang Liao's case too. I need to find an army for Zhang Liao, perhaps. Oh, it's so hard to juggle so many generals. Having five armies is a pain. Alright, we're gonna go march over there. And fight for Dong Zhuo. And hope to spawn a new army. But we're just sitting here doing nothing. Here, we're gonna do you a favor. And level up our trebuchet a little bit. Let's jump in here. Alrighty, we're loaded up in here, and let's see. It doesn't really matter which way we fight, there's no trees. Um, we have flaming shot, but it is rainy, and I'm pretty sure they're coming out. So I think we're just gonna line up here. We'll... We might turtle, actually. We might turtle in the center, and then we'll just have them on the flank. And then we'll have all our archers just lined up here. Pretty straightforward. Liu Bei can protect the middle a little bit with his ability. Zhao Yun can try to get a duel, and uh, he'll just chill in the back. Um, deployables might be useful here. Let's put one on the side. Let's put spikes. I'm guessing... I'm trying to guess where their cavalry can come from. I don't even think they have cavalry though. They might have generals, that might be it. Then I guess we'll put them here. And then fire down the middle. Alright, let's go. 
Come on out. Here goes nothing. Oh, poor guys. They actually missed a lot. It's okay. We accept everyone. We're not that strong yet because we don't have um, elemental vigor, but we'll get there. We'll trade our health for it. Alright. Zhao Yun. Let's go. We're hitting pretty fast. All right, let's just let them auto fire. All right, I think we're about to kill him. Maybe we can get another duel in. There we go. That's pretty. That's not even the execution. <laughs> we just whacked him. All right, another fight. No one wants to duel us. All right, we're getting shot by the arrow tower, so we're just gonna charge at someone. Oh, might as well light the fire up too, yeah. Let's do that. I don't think they have charge reflect, because these aren't aren't like this actual spear units. Uh, I want to get into a denser group and then smash the ground. There we go. Now, how are we doing over here? Is anyone even getting close to us? Nope. Okay. Are you sure you guys don't want to duel us? Okay, they just don't want to duel us. That's fine. They don't have any items, so I don't really, I don't really care about their whether they live or not. They have surprisingly high amount of arrows, considering the fact that we moved our brand officers into the county. All right, Jolyon will just try to get some experience soaked up. They're not firing. Now I'm kind of wondering whether they actually have ammo or not. Oh, they do have ammo. Okay, then they're just being dumb. Should've done that earlier, but it's fine. All right, Jolyon, let's go fight them. They're rallying back, so there's actually more to this fight. Still don't want to duel us. We're tired. Now, gameplay-wise, giving Zhongfei this weapon is definitely better. Because Zhongfei has immu um, fatigue immunity on his armor. So the unbreakable plus immu immunity is definitely a better combination, but Zhang Fei just historically, you know, is that serpent spear. So I don't want to change that. Alright, we'll let her live. We'll try to capture her for money. Let's go after the other guy. Go hit them. There we go. Nice. Two hits and he's already trying to run. Alright. I think that's it. Alright. Easy win. Alrighty. Zero loss. Pretty nice. Alright, the two we let go got captured. We'll just uh, release for extra income. Yeah, we have the burn officers in here. So I don't know how they still have so much ammo. It's absurd that they still have ammo. 
目标只有一个。不。身死。Well, we can just get more unity, I guess. Uh, we're gonna take some losses here. I... Not too bad. Not too bad. Release her again. Alright, we did you a favor, Dong Zhuo. Uh, we're gonna go attack the other one too. Basically, give our army something to do. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll continue to farm rebels around here. Hmm. We'll stand with them. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think we still have pretty high taxes, yep. And we're still plus seven, plus two, plus two. Alright, rebels here, good. Rebels here, good. We'll put Zhang Liao out again just to keep him happy. Yeah. I don't know what to do about her. We could summon her. Or she can actually be assignment. These three can be assignment characters. We might have to, we might get rid of her. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, let's continue here. Alright, Cao Cao signed Peace Treaty with Kong Rong. Okay. So the West is all fighting the Han and fighting Dong Zhuo too. So why are they all using my land as a landing spot? First Zhang Yan landed and now Kong Rong's landing here too. It's kind of rude. Alright, we got ourselves another rebel group because they had one. No items. Alright, we're gonna just finish them off. Should be minimum loss. Alright, we'll just release for extra gold. Alright, we'll go fight this one too. Just continue to build experience on this army here. Yeah, I don't know why they're just all walking through our land like they own it. Alright, we're gonna put Huang Zhong in this group. Well, oh, that army is expensive. Hmm. We might need to wait for him then. We just need to wait till she levels up one more time. Get that flexibility for that discount. Yeah, and Zhang Liao needs to be out more urgently because he can't actually lose any more points before he just ditch us. Okay. Let's see, what else can we do? We can upgrade this. Alright. We're fine. We're very far away from ranking up to our next level. So hopefully they will get a new uh, rebellion soon. And maybe that one will be more aggressive. Because the last one was just holding still. Another wooden fish. I'm gonna ask Don Zhuo one more time. He doesn't like us anymore. Maybe he'll declare war on us. That'd be great. Uh, let's just. I wanna see the price of all your places. Ooh, what is this? Farmland. He's willing to trade the farmland for 24? Wait a minute. Okay. We can make that happen.
I mean, I guess these are good items, so maybe not. Maybe we'll give him useless ones. And then we'll pay him. We'll pay him cash. Um, probably 8,000 is good enough for 50. Wow, he is greedy. Oh, that's robbery. Wait, wait, that's robbery. Anping farmland. Do we want to extend out this way? Alright, I talked myself out of it. That's a no-go. Would you like to sell us some land? Since we're so friendly with each other. We'll buy the salt mine. I'm very happy to buy the salt mine from you. You can have our axes too. They're really not useful for us. Here, have a food as well. And then we'll pay you the rest. Um, I'm guessing a thousand nine hundred. Okay, a little off. Twenty four fifty. All right, good enough. I'm happy with this deal. We get ourselves some salt. And also a very defensible position. Level three, not too bad. Not too bad. Three hundred income per turn. All right. We can trade for this in the future. Just want to see his price. 37, 37. Okay, it's doable. It's just a little difficult. It'd be funny if we can like flip it back to him and then buy it back because it's like we paid 19 for it. Or tw yeah, we paid. Yeah, eh, it's not a good deal, but it'd be funny if we can do it. But I'm happy to gain some land. All right, let's continue. All right, Bianjong has died. All right, the West is a mess. Li Bu's back. What do we know, boys? What did he do this time? He got a better item somehow. He went back to Sun Tzu and then he left Sun Tzu again. Ah, the cycle continues. Alright, let's get ourselves God of War and Blazing Roar. Alright, let's see. Over here. They bolster their forces, but it's the same thing. Move them up. Wipe them out. We'll just delegate. Alright, same thing. We're gonna help Dong Zhuo out. Uh, no items, so I guess we'll delegate here. Medium casualty. Okay, no, we're gonna fight. Um, it should be pretty quick. All right, same situation. Uh, we're gonna actually not leave our units so far behind this time, just because we just can start smacking them right away. Might as well do it. It's a shame that these archers are getting experience, even though most likely they're getting disbanded a bit later. Uh, Zhao Yun can try to go out and get a duel. And then we can just put them to absorb archers in the front. And I don't even think we need to use these, but might as well. Alright, start battle. Okay, so one person wants to duel, like last time. Fire! Go. Fire? There we go. All right, we got the choke point this time, so that that'd be that'd be great. Oh, 
Okay. Two duels this time. Oh, wow. Okay, we're just going to leave that in that spot for a little bit. Alright, we're going to set them to auto. Just because I think I need to micro draw you in a little bit. Alright, he escaped. Can we fight her in a duel? Yobe is having trouble here. Alright, we need to get back to our horse. Can we run over there, smash the ground? Come on, Zhao Yun. Alright, he's good. He's moving. He's moving. Perfect. Perfect. Mount. Mount. Alright, smash. Alright, get out. Alright, Liu Bei is winning, but uh, we're smashing the ground where he is. Alright. Liu Bei, can you get on your horse? Try and cut through away. Calm down, calm down. Alright, let's charge some people. Oh! Uh, Liu Bei though, can we not? He's not really ready for it. I'm willing. Guess she's not willing. I will right, pull him back. Took a bit of a hit. I think we just gotta beat her and then everyone else will route. Oh no 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 no. Chase her, chase her, chase her. Alright, route. Route, please. Alright, she routed. That's it, right? Alright, we'll let them run away. Alrighty. Pacifist, modest, healthy. Pretty good traits. Ah, uh, he's, she's pretty bad. Alright, none of them have item. Just release for money. We're gonna chase them down. We're gonna wait for them to spawn new rebels. Hopefully to take the city. Alright, all this, all this effort and Dongzhuo still hates us. It's okay, we like it this way. We're gonna move out. Um... We don't have much to do. Reform picking time. Uh, let's see. We really should start investing down this side. We can also get mine discounts, but that only applies to iron mine, jade mine, and um, what's the other mine? Basically, not salt mine. Copper mine. Yeah, the only those three mine get the discount. Copper mine belongs in the commerce section. So to actually upgrade copper mine, you actually have to build a school first, um, which is something we actually should consider doing. This one's unlocked now because we have the government support building. So we can actually start investing down here for the fishing to go to level five. That port is pretty important. There's a lot of things that's really important. Like this is really important. Let's go this way. This way we can get we can get level 4 industry building, assuming we have industrialists, which we don't have because we need this building for industrialists. So we need two reforms to make this one worthwhile. Well, this one's worthwhile right away because we already have um, the entrepreneur from the private workshop. Right, so logically this wins. So we can build this afterward, after this finishes. Uh, what else is there to do? We can technically rush some buildings too. 
All right, so in this case, we can probably just start boosting our peasantry income here. All right, I hope the next round of rebellions are going to make it happen for us. Because right now it's not working. All right, pretty happy with where things are. Let's see, who are these new characters? Not just Liu Bu. So next turn, let's go. Neutron wants an axe from us. Uh, no, just because we got save stuff to trade for that. So reject. All right, we have an interesting development. Uh, hold on. Uh, Sun Tzu made peace with Liu Hong. Sure. Ah, uh, Liu Chong got assassinated by Yuan Shu. So this is a historical event, and um. I guess it happens when you're not playing as Liu Chong. So there goes the mighty Liu Chong. His wife takes over. Zhang Yan! Zhang Yan took this city. The little army that walked by, because it's a small town, small town has no garrison, so you just have to click it and you take it. So he's at war with Dong Zhuo, so obviously he doesn't care. And But the, the cool thing is, he's in a coalition with Yuan Shao. And Kong Rong. So this is only a piece of land. Because he has no army. He was floating in the river. Oh, this is really weird. So we can't trade for it. We can try to ask for a unify. We can issue an automatum to force them to unify. And if they refuse, they have to declare war on us. And we can crush them that way. Hmm, this this sounds like a good idea, but but I'm not sure if it's actually a good idea. We can park our army here, and we can do this maneuver next turn, basically. So the, so the idea is, Zhang Yan is really weak right now. He has coalition partners. He has Yuan Shao and uh, Kong Rong. And then we can look at who else. We, he has, um, who else is in, oh wow. He has the West supporting him. So obviously these are strong. Hansui is very strong. Ma Teng is decent. Shi is... They're, but they're far away. So that's the thing. They're far away. Korong has one piece of land. His main army is in our territory. Yuan Shao has one piece of land. His main army is in our territory. So basically we can make a move against all three of them. Uh, but ideally, what I prefer to do is actually have the yellow turbans wipe him out and then we take the land that way Zhang Yan joins the pool without hating us for wiping out his faction and then we can actually recruit Zhang Yan that's the ideal state uh, but I'm not sure if that's actually gonna happen we will find out soon uh, let's get this built Liao Xi is full build. We need two reforms for that, and then we can build this as well. Alright, Dai should get a rebellion eventually. Ping Yuan's in the same shoe, where we are causing pressure here that could spawn yes. rebels here. All right, we're fine in the north. I think we should have our guys take a look down here, actually. Guan Yu, stay here. You two start heading over. You guys follow them. You four together. Until we can find better generals. All right, I think we're good. Let's go next turn, and we'll try this Zhang Yan business, see what happens. Alright, so Zhong Jiang and Zhang Yan peaced out. People, person. Plus 10 satisfaction, that's great. Uh, Dong Zhuo summoned himself here, which is really weird, because he's going to get swarmed. We're going to get out of the way. We're not going to deal with this issue. I'm not sure if we actually trespass or not with Zhang Yan. I can double check. Ah, military access with everybody. Aren't we the people people? People person. 
Wait, why can't we move? Alright. So we're gonna move out of the way and let these coalitions fight it out. None of our business. Alright, this is Guan Yu's business. Okay. Alright, they're fine. Giant build up quite a force. Yellow dragons? That's nuts. What reform path did he take? Pearl dragons and yellow dragons and onyx dragons. There's no way. And, and cataphracts? Like... There's no way he got this reform, this reform, and this reform at this point in the game. Uh, definitely AI cheating over there. Okay, it doesn't matter. Ooh! Lots to choose from. Alright. Let's see, let's see. Any items first on you guys? Yuan Yao? Your dad ditched you? You were in Zhang Yan's faction. What happened between a marriage, perhaps? There's no way your dad just dumped you. Ooh, commerce income? 30 year old, willing to spy, potential as a administrator. Just a little high level, but that's fine. See, this is a good wife, a kind wife. But a 52 year old wife who used to be Don Joe's faction. Yep, that's vain. That's a pass. I guess we'll just patiently wait for our Liu Bei typical event of Zhuge Liang and uh, Xu Fu. And we'll just watch them fight it out. Oh, Li Fan got energetic. Great. War Axe. Okay. Alright, we did recruit a new general here. 30 year old. Intimidating. Yeah, she can eventually be a. Oh, she has the administrative skills too. We didn't even check for this. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep her happy for a while until we can make her our administrator. Which might be in a. Which might take us a while as we build up. Um. But the people person definitely helps. Alright, rebellion next turn, that's fine. Gotta have you keep producing food for us. I don't think corruption's an issue yet. Yeah, 3% is not bad. Income, income, fixing in Anping. Oh, that's awkward. It's awkward because she only has one turn left. And this completes in one turn. Uh, so... I think the solution here is actually to hurry this up. So we can take advantage of it for one more round and just cancel her right now. What we can do is we can get her uh, something to do and then fire one of our other ones that's not as good because, for example, for her, she's never going to be an administrator. So we can probably just get rid of her. And she's more expensive. Yeah, I think I think we can just get rid of her. Um, goodbye. All right, uh, we'll just watch Don't Draw Die, I guess. Yuan Shao's. He's getting there. He's getting strong. 
It's not a trend that I like, but... Liu Biao is on the, our side of the river now? What's going on? Maybe he was always here, because I know he was here earlier. He's kind of spread out. Not really a threat. Alright, we'll wait another turn. Our economy is doing better and better, and we can buy this city. Alright, so a new coalition are forming between Zhengjiang and uh, Bian Zhang's old faction. Yuan Shu is getting declared war on. Zhengjiang is declaring war on Dong Zhuo. Dong Zhuo is getting isolated. Ooh, fraternal or loyal? They're both good. I mean, just... I mean, this on one hand is our brother. On the other hand, it's the guy who's in our army. But eventually he will leave our army, so I guess... Brother it is. Alright, so... I feel like Koron's army got wiped. We can't really see, but I think that's what happened. Alright, he's gonna continue to get administrative traits. We can use him to peek up a little bit. Oh, Dong Zhuo's army disappeared too. Maybe it was another kind of mutual wipe like before. Alright, we're just gonna use this as our save point and end our episode. Took a little while longer because we really wanted to see what happened with Dong Zhuo's case. Although, okay. So, although we're not making too much progress um, right now, kind of just kind of stalled, we gained a uh, salt mine. Our, our economy is steadily improving as we're developing our land and getting reforms out. Um, we can definitely afford a second army, no issue. We're kind of lacking excellent uh, strategists, but we'll eventually pick some up through events. It's still relatively early if you consider the 190 as a reference point. We kind of had eight years to find ourselves a home and develop. Dong Zhuo is kind of in trouble. I think he's kind of overextended. He's fighting a war with all these Western factions, and over here he's getting uh, teamed up by all of them. And Kong Rong just took this farmland. We didn't even notice that. I was focused on his army here, but apparently he had another army here. So Dong Zhuo is losing land left and right. We're getting new neighbors. Uh, we can't trade for this territory just because that's his only territory. But so our next trade target's here, so we can get entirety of Pingyuan, and it's a nice commander for us to build because it's commerce and industry. And then we'll figure out how we approach things because it seems like we might be going headed into a war with the coalition of um, Kong Rong, Yuan Shao, and uh, Zhang Yan, which isn't that bad. All famous characters, but all very small factions in this version of the game. So I'm content to build up. It might be a little bit slow to watch, but eventually we'll start steamrolling down south. Uh, I will let them develop a bit. Um, Gongdu should be a big uh, enemy at the end. It should be fun. So hope you guys enjoyed it. See you all next time. Bye!